Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, Neurologist from Rajmandri, Andhra Pradesh, India. My email is sriklpm at gmail.com. Uh, I am the medical author of two books, Focus Neurology and Exam Oriented Clinical Neurology. Today we are going to talk about a very very important episode, the principles of CT. So neuroimaging concepts part 2, principles of CT. The principle of CT head is similar to X-ray. In this procedure, X-ray radiation is attenuated as it passes successively through scalp, skull, CSF, cerebral grey matter, white matter and blood vessels. The intensity of the exiting radiation relative to the instant radiation is measured. The data are integrated and two dimensional images are reconstructed by the computer. The different densities of bone, CSF, blood, grey and white matter are distinguishable in the resulting picture with great clarity. As bone appears hyperdense white on x-ray, similarly in CT head also bone appears white. Grey matter which is peripheral appears hyperdense white whereas white matter which is central appears hypodense black because of the myelinated neurons which contain fat. Since there is fat in the myelinated neurons, the myelin contains fat, the white matter which is central appears hypodense or black. Since the CSF contains water, it appears black on CT head. The brain size is enormous but to get accommodated in a small space in the skull, the brain is folded. It has got a lot of foldings to get accommodated in the skull, which results in elevation gyri or fissure known as sulci. So elevation is known as gyri, the depression is known as sulci and the deep depression of the sulcus is known as cisterns in which the vessels traverse. So the principles of CT. The CT image is determined by the extent to which X-rays are absorbed or reflected by the tissues through which they pass. The CT image is determined by the extent to which X-rays are either absorbed or reflected by the tissues through which they pass. The more they traverse to the tissues or organs, the darker these tissues or organs appear in the CT image. The fewer rays that pass through tissues or organs, the whiter they appear in the CT image. So the different thing, the different densities of bone, CSF, blood, grey and white matter is due to their Hounsfield units and are distinguishable in the resulting picture with great clarity. So the Hounsfield units, the standard is compared to the to that of water, the density of water, which is zero Hounsfield units. So we have water which has got zero Hounsfield units and either increasing Hounsfield units on one side or decreasing Hounsfield units on the other side. So let's check it out. So here you can see the CSF which contains water has got zero Hounsfield units. You can see here CSF which contains water has got zero Hounsfield units whereas soft fish tissue which is slightly black black or slightly dark has about 50 Hounsfield units whereas bone whereas bone if you see it has got a very high Hounsfield units that is 1500 Hounsfield units. So these are the various Hounsfield units as you can see in the center it is the it is the water which is zero Hounsfield unit but as you go on to the left side water less than 100 air less than 1000 
and therefore these appear darker and darker so air appears very very black fat slightly black and water is zero black and as you go to the right side the hounsfield unit starts increasing and the lesions appear brighter and brighter that is whiter and whiter so csf is about 0 to 10 white matter is 20 to 30 gray matter is 35 to 50 blood appears very white it is 55 to 75 calcium appears still brighter 200 to 1000 units and metal is 1000 plus units so the standard value that is zero is about water so on the left side as the hounsfield unit starts getting decreased it appears darker and darker you can see the shade contrast which is given here so as you go on to the left side it appears darker and darker as you start uh, coming to the right side that is as the hounsfield units start increasing it becomes brighter and brighter so on the ct scan the blood appears white the calcium appears white the csf and the water in the csf appears dark and air appears very very dark that is black so these are the wonderful concepts of the principles of CT. Uh, if you have liked it, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concept which is one of the India's leading neurology educational YouTube channels. I have also written two books, one exam oriented clinical neurology. All the important concepts of the clinical neurology are put in this book. So it will be very useful for students appearing for the clinical neurology exams. The second book I've written is Focused Neurology, all the neurology concepts. I put in a question and answer format, which will be very useful for Viva or oral exams. This book is available online from all leading booksellers, including Amazon. So if interested, this book could be purchased. So if you have enjoyed these wonderful concepts on principles of CT scan, please like and share the link. But please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my IP page, Dr. Srinivas Concepts. Thank you. Bye.